Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more Project Ozone. We are finally back here guys and uh, I've got to apologise as you probably know from the uh, ep the video that I put up saying about my channel and what's going to be happening with my channel. It is turning into a hobby uh, for me, it's turning back into a hobby rather than a full time occupation now because of uh, my the market job that I have the market job that I have has kicked off now into this uh, you know and it will do throughout the entire season and uh, you won't get regular uploads from me which is the whole reason why I've said you know what I can't physically do this as a full-time job anymore but that doesn't stop me from recording guys and I want to record because I enjoy it and I really do and I want to finish some of the stuff that I've started so project ozone is going to continue on so what I want to do today is go ahead and get a few of these things done. If we take a look at this in here, um, we need 64 gravel, 64 sand and 64 dust. That's a lot. <laughs> now of course we've already got all the cobble that we could probably use ever in a million years, so that's great, but now we need to start work on something else. But I want to use an autonomous activator to do this, and to do this I'm gonna need tin. Um, do we have actually Oh, we do. Okay. This is interesting. This is cheaper as well, actually. The block placer. The only problem is I'm still going to need an autonomous activator to use that for making um, dusts and so on and so forth. So, I think... Well, we can make the block placer. That is no problem at all. In fact, that's probably the best thing to do. So we need two... Well, we need three iron, two redstone... Let's take a look at what we've got over here. Well, we've got plenty of, um, whoops. Wait, let me take all of that. And then just put one back in there. Good stuff. And with this, we can, of course, go ahead and make our iron ore gravel. There we go. There is an update to Project Ozone, but unfortunately, guys, it won't install for me. And I don't know why, but it just won't. There we go, that is good. 54 crushed iron. Let's get that like that. I'm going to need to keep all this stored as well, aren't I? All the extra bits. There we go. Into the dust that we need. Powdered iron ore. There we go. Oh no, oh, no I've left space for it, haven't I? That's good. So the iron ore dust is what goes into the furnace. Let's pop that into there. That'll turn into iron. We do want a smeltery at some point soon, guys, because uh, that's the best way of doing it. You can double the amount of ores that you've got through doing that. So let's pop that into there. Let's pop the crushed iron into there. And of course, the powdered iron ore wants to go into there. And that is basically why I've laid this out the way that I've laid this out. So we're just going to wait for the iron. We've got a couple of pieces of redstone. I believe we might need some more, though. Um, oh, yes, we've got two. That's what I need, isn't it? So we need redstone. And what was the other one? Energetic redstone dust. No idea what the hell that is. But we needed one for this anyway. We need uh, planks, cobble. Cobble's not a problem anymore, guys. Let's get in. It's a shame that you can't put cobble down and use this and use vein miner on the cobble. But what can you do? So we're going to take that. We need some wood. I believe we've got loads of wood. Oh, we might have used it actually. Thinking about it, we probably used it. So we'll keep that like that. We want a piston. Which is no problem after we get some iron. There we go. Iron, redstone. Like that. There's the piston that we need. Uh, the block placer, cobble, redstone, piston. Oh, we've got the piston. We just need... Well, we should have it. Redstone, that, piston, there's the block placer that we need and that's going to help us place the blocks that we want to place. The autonomous activator is of course going to have the hammer inside of it uh, which will go ahead and I don't believe this needs power. Does it need power? I believe it might need a clock. We'll find out. We will certainly find out at some point soon. So the block placer will place down the cobble, um, which will make gravel for me, because that is the most pain in the backside bit, making the gravel, um, which that will be absolutely fine to do. We just need to make a redstone. Oh my god, we're going to need a lot of redstone then, aren't we? 
we're going to need a redstone clock, which is that thing right there. So we're going to need five more bits of redstone. We could get through magical crops. We've also got philosophers, uh, we've also got thingamabob in here as well, um, Project E. So we'll get into that at some stage soon. But I do want to see if there's a way of getting redstone other than... Uh, no. Ex nihilo. 13% chance through dust. Okay, so we've got to make a load of dust anyway. Oh, dear me. Okay, well, it's time to get cracking with the hammer and use a stack of cobble to do so. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to put it there. And then I'm going to dig my way down and get myself a load of gravel. But anyway, guys, uh, there's no point showing this on camera. You know, you've seen this a thousand times before. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll be back when I've got myself a nice ton of gravel. Well, I'm not going to be... I'm going to be back when I've got some redstone to be able to make this thing. Okay, guys, I am back. Now, let's take a look at what we've got. We've got a stack of iron. So, basically, guys, I've got a stack of gravel. I then put that down into a stack of sand and so on and so forth. In fact, we did all of this just by doing it, which is great. So, we need two diamonds, four certus quartz crystal, and 16 redstone. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get anywhere near enough of that. I mean, don't worry too much about that. What I want to do, really, what I'm going to try to make a beeline for, instead of worrying about what quests I'm going to be doing next. I think what I'm going to make a beeline for is Project E. I think everything that, I go uh, that I'm going to do in the future is going to be based around Project E and getting as much EMC as physically possible so I can get any item that I want to get, pull it out of there and it's going to be absolutely fantastic guys. At least that is the hope. So, I got a stack of sand, uh, a stack of dust should I say, and this is what it sieved down into. We've got plenty of iron ore, which is great. In fact, let's just go ahead and whiz down the list right here and drop off a few of the stuff that we don't need. So, put that into there, that there, that there, that there. Brilliant. So we're left with powdered platinum, redstone, which is what we need, powdered mithril, gunpowder, Powdered infoscolium. Now, I do actually have an infoscolium piece, which is right there, so that can go up. Powdered promethium. Glowstone, of course. Powdered karmet. Powdered zinc. We've got certain squats dust, and we've got sky stone dust as well. We've got blaze powder. Um, as well as bone meal as well, but we just we needed the redstone of course We want the redstone clock so we can p constantly place stuff I believe that this is how it works now We're going to use a redstone clock anywhere in the future So it just seems to make sense to uh, to make that now. Let's go and see if we've got any smooth stone kicking about Yes, we do um, I need a stick also so I'll get one of the things that I've got here Make a redstone torch and from here, I can put that into the middle. That's not how it goes. Put that around there. And then we can do that and bang, we've got a redstone clock, which is fantastic. Uh, we also need a piece of cobble. Which we've got Lucas's hopes and dreams in the uh, in there, so we can go and grab this. There's the lever. Let's get the block placed and see if this actually works. So this is where it places the block, quite obviously. What I want to do is get myself them. Put them into there. We're going to get the redstone clock and I'm going to pop that onto the back. And there we go. So you can already see it started. We're going to turn that off. Wait, that's on. If I... Okay, so... There we go. That is how it's going to work. So we need the autonomous activator next. Autonomous... This thing. So we need eight tin Two iron. So the iron is not a problem. We don't have to worry about the iron. But what about the tin? The tin seems to be a problem for us as we've only got... Oh, we haven't got that many of them, actually. Oh, that's copper. Tin must be this one. Yes, it is. That will make four tin or dusts. How much of this have we got? Five. Well, leave one behind. Oops, put that one back. Great. 
Put one of the powdered tins back. Great. Much like that, that will pop down into that. Let's pop that off. We need a hammer. That is very, very nearly out of charge, is my uh, powered hammer, so we've got to be careful there. Let's pop that down. That's given us five, which is good. But this will give us, in total, most likely, five tin ore dust. So that will make us five tin ingots. Ugh, not exactly what I was after. I was after more than that. Uh, which is a shame. I wanted eight. Hmm. Thing is, I can't exactly make it with anything other than tin, if I remember correctly. Have I got any tin ingots kicking around? I don't think I do. I've got plenty of iron kicking around, actually, by the looks of things. But it's tin that I'm after. I need eight tin. The only other way of doing things, of course, is to make a smeltery and to, uh, you know, start smelting down what we've got and make more of what we've got. So. I think that might be the way forward um, to make seared bricks of course you need grout and the grout is clay, sand and gravel hmm we've got lava we've got the stuff to be able to make this properly we've got the clay that's not a problem. We can get the sand and gravel with no problems either, and you get eight grout per one. Uh, well, you get two grout per one of these. But we've got plenty of clay, look at that. Plenty of clay. So it's just a case of doing what I've done before, going ahead and making... Um, the thing is, it's not going to be too hard now, because what I can do is pop the, uh, the cobble into there, and then just stand here with the hammer and do this. Like that. Well, this is pretty decent, actually. This could work. This can work well for me. And when I get tired of doing gravel, I can always then go ahead, put gravel into here, and do some sand. At the moment, like I said, it's not automated. It's manual, but it's doing the job for me. I suppose it's doing what I can do. Um, I want to make another hammer. I need some more sticks. There we go. Into there. I'm going to get the two cobble like that. There we go. We've got a nice new stone hammer. There we go. I'm going to go ahead, stand here, do some more of this, get as much as I can so I can go ahead and make another smeltery. And when I can make that smeltery, I will be back, guys, because that is going to help me no end in making this type of thing automated and this is what I need I need resources to be able to make the stuff that I want going forwards um, say for example so I can make the stuff to start project E with um, so I will be back shortly when this is done so guys we are back and the smeltery is now built now this thing is only the smallest thing that I can make it's a two by two um, but it's got some lava in there it's ready and raring to go we just need one last little piece of equipment which is of course our casting table uh, and that thing is going to be placed right here and that will serve as my thingamabobbins. So the first thing I want to do is get some aluminium brass so that we can make some um, so that we can make some casts. That's the one. Aluminium brass dust. Interesting. So we need aluminium, three aluminium dust, one copper dust. We can do this. We can do this. I believe we can anyway. One copper dust like that, and three aluminium dust. Aluminium. One, two, three. Is that okay? Powdered aluminium ore, copper ore, we'll soon find out in a second as I do this. Does it not work with that? Does it seriously not work with that? Well that seems a bit stupid. <sighs> aluminium brass dust, aluminium dust, and copper dust. Crushed copper copper powder so why 
I think it only uses two different type of dust. It doesn't actually use the ex nihilo powdered aluminium ore. That is annoying. Okay, let's go and put that back. Um, in fact, we probably... Could we... Powdered aluminium ore... Will that actually get smelted? None of this is getting smelted, guys. Oh, no, it won't, will it? Will it? Do we have to put the stuff in there first? Oh, my God, I don't know. I don't know. Let's put it back anyway. It's not working. Um, powdered copper. Put that back. Good stuff. So, we want to make some aluminium brass. Now, to make aluminium brass, we will want three aluminium, one copper. <sighs> <laughs> three aluminium and one copper. So let me grab two, three, four. That would be one copper. Aluminium. That should be enough now. Three aluminium to do that. So we should be okay to do... Actually, we should be able to just melt this down. But that will make it into two, so we don't want to do that. Do we? No, we can actually. Let's go ahead and do it that way. Because what I can then do is get my ingot, my iron ingot, slap that onto there, and we could pour over the aluminium brass and make an ingot cast straight away. So then we can go ahead and pour all of the rest of the aluminium brass out to be ingots. At least that's the plan. Let me just take a drink. Hmm. Ah. Whoops. Well, this shouldn't take too long anyway. Because copper and aluminium melt really, really quickly. As you can probably see. Six ingots worth of aluminium. And we're going to end up with uh, quite a bit of aluminium brass. That's absolutely fine because we will use that for pickaxe heads and stuff like that going forwards. So we've got eight ingots of that so far. Um, oh, I just reminded myself actually. I need, I do in fact need another couple of, uh, of seared bricks. Let me just pop this down. There we go two gravel. I've got the clay already ready. Another couple of these. Get rid of that. Turn this into sand. And we are sorted. Gravel. Sand. Clay. Oh yeah, I forgot that actually gives two grout. So we just want to go ahead and let that cook up. We get three seared bricks. We can then pour it out into uh, the casting table to get ourselves that ingot cast. So when I've got that, and when I've got all of the bits and bobs that I need to be able to go and make the autonomous activator, because I'm going to melt down my tin inside there so I can get double, uh, once I've got that, guys, I will be back so that I can make this automated before the end of this episode. Okay, guys, we are sorted. We've got our autonomous activator now, which is fantastic. This is going to be placed right there. We need to simulate a right-click. No, we don't. We need to simulate a left click. Um, and we want to do this with a fresh... Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is use an iron one. Oh, we've already got that there. That's good. So let's pop them into there. Let's get an iron hammer. And we're going to pop that into there. And what's going to happen, guys, is we're going to stick some cobble into there. We're going to turn this on. It should... Oh, it needs power. God... Damn! <laughs> I forgot about this. No. It needs power, guys. Which isn't too hard, actually, to go ahead and make. Let's go ahead and grab an engine of our choice. I don't think they call it, they call it dynamos, don't they, now? Steam magnet magmatic. That's the one that we want. The one that uses... Oh. We need invar. Well, invar blend is iron and ferrous. It shouldn't be hard to actually make one of these. Silver, redstone, okay. What is the easiest way of making power? Hmm. Is the clockwork engine in here? I don't think it is, is it? Clock twerk engine? What is this? I have no clue what the hell that is, but it's a clock twerk engine. Um. Do we twerk for, for for power? I don't know how this works. Let's give this a try. I've never seen this before in my entire existence. So, we're going to go ahead and give this a little bit of a try. We need some of those. 
Ah, we do have plenty of iron. Good stuff. We also need some more cobble being made up into smooth stone. Let's go and grab a load of cobble actually and put it into there, ready and waiting. There we go. Just get some little bit of smooth stone. I want to see what this is. If we twerk and it makes power. That would be pretty cool if that actually works like that. It's really cheap actually. It's really, really cheap to make. And it doesn't require anything but a bit of twerking guys. It's enough just to get a start and that's what we need. I don't mind sitting there twerking to be able to make this. I think it might have been the other way around actually. There we are, clock twerk engine. Let's put it behind here. There we go, look at that. It's actually working. Although it doesn't seem to be taking power. Hmm. Let's get this. Oh, because I would put it on the one side that I did the output on, haven't I? There we go. So if I do this, it should be twerking away. Why are you not taking power from this? I know you're storing energy. I can see you're storing energy. But can you please take that energy from here? And put it into the uh, autonomous activator? It would be really, really nice if you could. Ah, oh, dear me. <coughs> oh, dear me, that came out of nowhere. Let's have a look at the leadstone energy cell. Oh, I need a ton of redstone for this. I'm beginning to believe that this is prob- oh, hang on a minute. Autograted, autograted, integrated redstone. Disabled, low, nothing, ignore it. It doesn't seem to make any difference whatsoever. God damn, that is really annoying. Look, it's creating energy, which is great, but it's not using the energy. It's not giving the energy to this, which is what it should be doing. Let's see if we've got any access to conduits yet. Not conduits, what do they call it? Ducts, don't they? They call them ducts. Let's make a leadstone flux duct. Oh, I need a load of redstone again for it. I don't have any more redstone. Do you know what I'm going to do? In between episodes, guys, I'm going to make a load of stuff. Um, I'm going to make some stuff to be able to make this possible. Hopefully, I can use uh, like a leadstone flux duct that you've just seen there. Just a normal bog standard one and make it work. Hopefully, it does. If it does, it'd be really, really easy, actually, guys. 20,000 RF just for twerking a little bit. Seems a bit excessive, but I'll take it anyway. But anyways, that's going to be it for the end of this episode. Next episode, we'll come back. We'll finish off this little system right here, and uh, we'll get our stuff automated. And then we will make a start, guys, on making some of the Project E stuff going forward, because we're going to need a lot of that. And um, that is going to be our primary source for pretty much everything in this pack is Project E. So we're going to go forwards with that. But first, I want to be able to see if this actually works. So, we are, I will be back next episode. Until then, guys, I've been the Tough Man. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.